Welcome to another video, everybody. This video is significant because I haven't been on a lake trip in a while. It's also significant because this is going to be my longest trip to date. I'm going to be here for seven days. I am in the Adirondack Mountains and I am on Cranberry Lake. It's a beautiful day. I think we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and maybe the next day. Right now it's pretty out here. Very, very few boats on the water. And uh, I think we're gonna get to our campsite and set up and hang out, enjoy the evening, and then uh, see what tomorrow brings. This is what we're working with right now. Blue skies and open water. She said. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, folks. It's probably uh, 6.30 now. Um, not sleep well at all. Been up since like 4 a.m. Just can't get down with the tents anymore. <laughs> it's tough sleeping on the ground, hips hurt, all that stuff, and I have every bit of gear I need to uh, stop that from happening. Didn't work, so hopefully find a nice spot for the hammock tonight. This is day two on Cranberry Lake, and we'll see how it goes. Let's cook up some breakfast. I have blueberries. Heart.
All right, boys and girls, we are back on the water. This is day two. Uh, I don't know, it's about 11 a.m. and some change. We spent the night on site number 42 on Cranberry Lake. And uh, this morning our plan was to get up and and head out and hit the water fairly early. But uh, we were pinned down for a couple hours um, by some rain. It was raining in the forecast, but it rained a little bit heavier than expected. Um, the good news is, is that means that we are the only ones out here. The bad news is, is everything's wet and my sunglasses are packed in the bag. So I'll be a little squinty for a couple hours to the next site. Anyways, check it out. to site number two for day two. I'd have to guess they're a couple miles in. Haven't done a whole lot of fishing, unfortunately. Um, skipping a lot of what I would guess are pretty fruitful little coves and inlets uh, fishing wise, but uh, it's a little windy and the point of getting going this morning was to try to beat the next batch of rain. So hopefully we can find our next site set up and um, you know then I can do some fishing. Because tomorrow we will likely get uh, pinned down by rain and not be able to do a whole lot of moving around. So the goal for today is make camp, make camp, and hang out, eat some food, do some fishing. It's getting a little windy though, so a little, a little tricky being on the water at the moment. our plane all right everybody lunch has been consumed and we have determined that this site sucks so <laughs> it's not bad if you're solo pretty nice on the point but we're expecting some pretty crappy weather and don't want to get locked down on this site so we're gonna move on uh, we're gonna brave the elements here and try to shoot across the lake into a more sheltered spot as we will likely be stuck there. I say stuck like it's a bad thing, but you know, pinned down for the for the night and into tomorrow. So we're gonna try to make a beeline across the water here and uh, check out a different campsite. So here we go. All right, everybody, oh, there's my plane right on schedule. The planes around here have been crazy. Um, this is a beautiful site. We've made it to site, I believe this is 30 on Cranberry Lake. Um, it's nice and wide open. Um, I'll get, I'll show you here that, show you that here in a second. So it's got a nice picnic table, a fire ring, tons of open space. 
little space back there at the gear stage. Pretty wide open. So uh, it's about three o'clock on day two. Rain is supposed to be here um, shortly. You just heard some more thunder. So I'm gonna go ahead and tonight we're gonna set up the hammock and I'm gonna crash in the hammock this evening, the war bonnet setup. And we may be here for two days on this site. So I wanna be comfortable, so we're gonna set it up. So, um, but that's it, that's the digs. Probably wander back there somewhere and set up. That's it. Got the war bonnet, superfly, and bushwhack camo. Pretty slick tarp. Got the doors peeled back. This is a war bonnet Eldorado hammock. And I did have to cheap out on the summer under quilt and get the one tigress 40 degree. So I should sleep a lot better than I did um, in that tent. Be up off the ground, no aches and pains. And uh, pretty well sheltered in here, so hopefully it goes well. So, on to the next step of setting up camp. Over there, huh? Cheers, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner is served. Got some nice dirty rice, Zatarain's dirty rice with some uh, chopped up wall burger. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic.
pretty gnarly out there. The lightning's out of control. It does make me nervous that my shelter is strapped to a big tree. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Or you won't. <laughs> or I won't, yeah. <laughs> I won't feel it. Move in here. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> it's bad. Well, we're not going anywhere now. It's, it's not like you can get get out of here if you had to. This is really bad. We had to retreat to our shelters. This is... I can't even record out there to show you guys. Hands down. The worst storm I've ever been caught in. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's day three. The weather was horrendous last night. It was crazy. But the war bonnet setup kept me nice and dry. The lightning, I'm gonna, I put some clips in the video here of the lightning. You can't see much because obviously it's quite dark. But when the lightning flashes, you can see how bad it was in here. It was right on top of me. It was kind of, uh, made you kind of nervous. <clears throat> Since I am sleeping in a hammock suspended between two pretty tall trees. Um, we get up now, it's about 8 o'clock, 8.15. Don't normally hang in the rack this, this late, but um, it's raining still, so I wasn't, wasn't in a big hurry. So we're going to get up and make something to eat, I guess. Ugh. All right, let's get to it. War bonnet super fly for the wind. Weather was bad and I am good. So, huge plus, huge plus. That's awesome. I did. That's one of our main tank tanks. Pretty sick. Congratulations. Thank you. You just leveled up. I did. All right, everybody, day three, I think it is still, right? Um, right now, 
we're still pinned down at this site in terms of weather. Uh, the storm is about to get hit with the thunderstorm again, um, but we're gonna try to really quickly run around the bend here and see if we can grab some firewood off the coast or something because the site's picked pretty clean. Um, there isn't there isn't much on site. Also, uh, this cove being despite being beautiful is really uh, weedy and pretty gross close to the shore. So we're just taking the boats out, cruise around the corner to try to grab some wood real quick and uh, go for a quick swim because we're both, you know, kind of funky at this point. So. Definitely not a good area to swim in. So that's it. Looking for a place to swim and to grab some uh, firewood real quick like. Here we are. Oh man, that was refreshing. I feel so much better now. People always ask me too, like, oh, how are you, what do you do for like a shower? You know, like, you're gonna be there for a week. Are you gonna clean yourself? Yeah, I'm on a lake. <laughs> nice and cold. Works wonders. Big, big time morale booster for sure. Firm and bouncy texture. Poor dude. little break in the weather and the uh, water is like glass. Hopefully you can just see that last shot there. Really beautiful right now. Water is super calm. So I'm just going to try to do a little bit of fishing. There hasn't been much on the trip yet. It's been raining and uh, we've had, you know, places to go. So this little cove and I'm confident despite having a little bit of thunder that it got pretty crappy I can just cruise right back over to the other side where our site is right now it's awesome out here though. perfect temperature not a wave in sight this is wild in here it's very cool I think I just discovered a little waterfall. Well, not discovered, but seeing for the first time myself.
pretty sweet little waterfall I just found. Also heard a little bit more thunder. I thought we were done with that, but we are not. The beaver's home. You can see his little head sticking out right there. I bet we get a tail slap if we get closer. I don't want to get too close and make the beaver angry. Nobody likes an angry beaver. But uh, just swam into his little home or hers. There it is right there. See it to the left of the lodge? Oh yeah, yep. Come on with the tail slap, let's do it. I'll back away. I don't want to unnecessarily stress animals out. It's got a hell of a lodge going there. What an ideal spot. If I was a beaver, that's where I'd set up. Well, not skunked. It's got a little... Oh, man, buddy. Oh, he's bleeding pretty good. Come on, man. Does. Now choose your weapon. It's still too hot. Maybe. JP caught a bass, a small bass, that took a hook pretty hard and the fish basically died on the spot. So, dried it up. Nuggets. Sauce or anything because I want to taste it. I eat that all day. That's pretty bomb. All day long. Not fishy. Take that, all you bass guys that say it's full of bones and it's terrible. I'm not going to lie, I was scared. I was a little nervous, but. You always hear very conflicting opinions about you do. bass. It's not bad. <clears throat> Looks like rain again. Well, we already know it is raining. Pretty good rain day after all, though. Yeah. Here we go. 
go again. Holy smokes. That is bad. Oh, Lord. Well, we're all packed up for the most part anyways getting ready to head out move on up the lake I guess the goal for today is we're gonna try to hit Indian Joe Island it is right yep I think that's it so we're gonna yeah we'll see we'll try and get to we'll get to 27 or 28 yeah we'll up our minds more. meander our way up there and see how it goes so far so good with the weather this morning and fingers crossed it stays that way because uh wouldn't it wouldn't be uh all that terrible to have a nice day or two and um, dry out a little bit <laughs> so but you can't complain I'm gonna show you the view again this has been our site for the last two nights and because of the rain has kept us in place so here we go I'll see you on the water Oh man, I kind of miss that. I'm only getting the tail end of them. That's a bummer. Oh, there was our first bald eagle sighting of the trip. If I had looked up into the trees, I might have gotten a better, better shot of them. But we were fishing, so I didn't. I'm looking at the water. Pretty cool. I think this may be home for the night. The water is much, much nicer up this end of the lake. So if you're coming here and the task to get up to this portion of the lake seems arduous, it's definitely worth it. The water is nicer. We've got like our own little beach to walk out onto the water over there. Sweet view. Big old fire pit. Plenty of hammock trees. A little bit of firewood. There's the path up to the privy. Basically, it's a box with a hole in it. Time to hydrate. Can you save me any money on my car insurance? <laughs> I'll be damned. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I have anything for it. I could touch that fucker. You are domesticated. You want to come home? I'll go to New Hampshire? We're not going to feed you. Cheers, man. Cheers. 
Thank you, sir. Good day. Mm. Well, fine. Thank you. <laughs> I got some important parts to play. Hickory smoked pork chops and habanero cheese in a tortilla. Dinner of champions or something. Good stuff. Morning, everybody. Day five. Let's get out of the rack and uh, see what today brings. First, let's eat something. children the verdict is in we are going to call the trip a little bit early we're going to paddle back to the vehicles now um, we just stopped at our initial site by the beginning of the trip and the fire pit had been wrecked and whatever that's not really why it just you know it's a, it's a separate issue so um, we were just, you know, considering the possibility of staying at either that site or the one site before it. I think it's site 41 were the only options. And we didn't really want to hang out on a site we had either already been on or one that was within an hour paddle from the vehicles just to, you know, wake up in the rain and whatnot. And we were actually chatting with a ranger who had stopped to check our licenses and uh, he confirmed <laughs> that the weather is going to get pretty squirrely later so we just decided eh, we might as well we might as well head out so here we go paddling back uh, to the vehicles and uh, we'll check in with you when we get there alright alright Making our progress on our way out, folks. Probably an hour or so from the takeout. Maybe, maybe two, but probably in a, closer to an hour, hour and a half. Um, this is Cranberry Lake. <laughs> um, I had never been here before. This is my longest trip yet. So this makes five days instead of uh, my previous record. Personal record was three. Um, it was a good time, packed heavy. Brought a lot of stuff, brought ice, brought a cooler. Obviously not like a wilderness outfit, but we wanted to have some fun. And we did, and we're paddling our way out. Um, 
It's like Justin said, the uh, not exactly a wilderness a wilderness experience, or as much as we expected. A lot of powerboat traffic. Um, there are a few, a good few miles. And it's nice, an undeveloped shore. Uh, not, no, not any houses in sight really, and a lot of the spots. Um, the campsites are peaceful in that they are, you know, in the woods and on the water. But many of them have boats kind of cooking by and whatnot. But um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. It was a good trip. It's a, it's a great lake. Um, I would come back, but it's just not what you know what you'd expect for for wilderness. So if that's what you're shooting for. You know, you might need to find something a little more remote. But I'm sure the fishing is probably fantastic uh, in a motorboat. There's a lot of big water, uh, a lot of little coves to check out. Um, but we had some bum weather, and we're getting some more bum weather. So we're just gonna end it on a positive note and head out. Uh, so that was, you know, that's it. That's the summary. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate you hanging out and watching the video. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. I hope to do a lot more of this stuff. Push the limits of duration and location and all that good stuff. So subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, all that, you know, all that happy, happy stuff. And um, any feedback or any ideas, trip suggestions, all that crap stuff. Sorry. Leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear it. So we'll talk to you soon. And again, thanks for hanging out. My name's James. This is Project Pan.